Hey guys, Gourmet Mushies here, and today I'm going to be taking one of my spore prints from my portobello mushrooms and ino be inoculating this jar right here. So I've already cleaned this jar. I have the lid right here and the little filter for it. This right here is all cleaned off and contaminated. I mean, non contaminated, so here we go. Hands are also clean. So here it is the spore print. So here we are. It says Portobello right up here, and then it says September 6th, 2017. So here we go. So the light is a little weird in here, but I can see the spore print pretty well. I don't know how good y'all can see it, but it's that's the center and then that's the outside. So here we go. So first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking this spoon right here. And cleaning it up. Okay, now the spoon is clean. So, so I have just used the whole spore print. I didn't necessarily need to, but I wanted to. This is gonna. I have some other spore prints being made. This was just my first one. It was kind of messy. Uh, it wasn't that good. So, boom. Um, so, now, this right here is the miracle Go soil. I have a little bit of straw in there, and, like, the smallest little bit, and it's really fine. And I also put some coffee grains in there. So, here, this right here is the filter. I, um, while I was off, I just used this right here to clean that off, and now I'm going to clean this bit off. Sorry about that. First thing we're going to do is turn the grooves backwards. Grooves backwards. And then go forwards. Just make sure we get the grooves. So, here we go. Now we're just going to give it a little bit of a shake. Don't shake it all the way up because you don't really want to get your filter dirty. I'm just shaking it sideways so it's really flipping over that material. Getting everything in there. So, this is Gourmet Mushries signing off. And I will see y'all in the next video.